Hi and welcome to RC Copter Lab. Uh, I'm doing some progress in inverted flying with my M2 with the M4 Max. I'm still yet not confident enough to try inverted flight, but I'm coming closer because I'm doing more and more loops uh, and backflips at the moment. That's my specialty. And I decided that I'm going in a comfortable tempo. It will be anyway the most exciting season of my uh, uh, short pilot career this year and I take the steps in a tempo that seems for me right. With this one I'm feeling more and more comfortable and I want to train as much as needed that I feel very comfortable with these bigger birds. They are still newer for me so I was beginning in July last year with the M4 and this one I put in the air in December so it's not a long time so I don't expect too much and have fun first flight will be with the M2 a little bit upside down and then I'm doing some fun flight with the M4 Max okay let's see how the M2 is working now it's again windy like almost every day i'm loving to do nose in starts and landings good training and i try to fly a little bit longer inverted coming out smooth with the backflip the way i started it It is really windy and this does not really help when you try to train inverted. I tried to come out with a half road and it was working but I was losing a little bit of tail. But it's also because the wind is really not helping as I told you. So once again try to go inverted. I try to do as well different versions so as you have seen with the half row out there are so many things I can try this year it is wonderful again the half row out again I maybe I'm I'm touching not being aware of this the tail so this is this is something that I have to really learn I hear that this battery is not the strongest so I will just fly around a little bit maybe also closer to us so show you this beauty the canopy is not like new as long as I'm training now this inverted <laughs> so I'm not putting on a new I have a new one but I'm I was gluing this canopy a couple of times <laughs> And it just has to it just has to work uh, I will I will put on a new canopy when I'm getting better and better and better so I love to do as well um, pirouettes I try to keep the helicopter on one place but in this wind this is of course a challenge because the wind is not stable it's not like, like a uh, like a, a propeller made by a propeller that you have all the time the same strength of the wind so once again I try a flip, although the battery is not fresh very much. Standing, it was meant to be standing, but of course the wind has another opinion. But what you see here is what I'm doing every, every day and I'm not giving up. I try to keep it doing it. I try to come out with the front flip as well. but. Um, the temperature is still not very high and my batteries are almost all not the freshest to say it this way and now I'm coming in from this path in my loved way with the nose in landing and I'm 
already curious to see if I will land soft enough that my new Wi-Fi beacon will not interpret my landing as a crash. So this should have been quite okay. So, okay, we go on with the M4 Max. And this is another of these flights to get more comfortable with the M4 Max. I don't have these birds, the bigger birds, so long as my small ones. I was in general beginning with an M2, so I have the most flights with an M2. But no further ado, let's go to fly this baby. First of all, again, getting a little feel for the wind. It is very changing today, so not stable, not all the time coming from one direction. In one second it comes from this direction, the other moment it comes from the next direction. So I'm trying to get the same feeling with this helicopter as I developed in all these three years with my M2s. It's very important for me to know such a helicopter in every situation before I really try to go inverted. I have to develop a feel for the different mass. Here we are talking about 1.5 kilogram mass ready to fly against 300 and 80 or something like the M2 has. So this is a big difference. We are talking about different uh, rotor disc diameters and even in hovering such a helicopter is, is, um, is acting in another way than the small helicopters. And so I, I really want to feel them better and better and better. So this was not planned to be on one place. I just wanted to see the direction of the, of the tail. So now I feel ready to prepare, prepare for you. These are small loops meant to build more confidence and I'm flying in one direction with this big bird all the time because I want to really build the confidence. I want to understand how these helicopters work so I sometimes have the feeling the small little M2 feels for me like a part of my body or even a part of my brain so this is a wonderful feeling because these small helicopters don't surprise me at all so this one the m4 max is also beginning to give me less and less surprises so i'm more and more expecting uh, to get what i want to do but it's still a long path and I for myself, for my kind of like my brain is working, I really understood that I have to feel very comfortable, that I have to have the feeling that I know this machine inside out. To I know that these machines are very capable, that I'm not even close to the borders of such machines, but it's the borders of my um, abilities that are limiting me and I don't want to overcome them with doing something forced so I'm doing this because it's a big fun for me I love as well flying for instance from one side to another then stopping the helicopter by turning it that was not clean, it was meant in another way. And again, you have seen a direct effect of 
the wind. So the wind is really, really strong. We do another loop. A little bit bigger. And I feel it stronger. I also can develop the feeling of how much negative pitch I have to give, how much I have to, how fast I have to reduce the pitch to um, uh, positive again. And I see the battery is coming to an end. I will do one backflip. So it's windy, but I will not risk anything. So this was one backflip. I don't want to be more in this, to do more in this wind because I really take myself time to fly a lot with this helicopter. This is what I love the most, flying these helicopters. It's anyway not very easy to fly it here, but because what you will see in a minute and maybe my wife will show you how this looks, the surface on this path is completely uneven. So every time I'm going to preparing a land, landing, I have to really look with my eyes where it is hmm, flat, it's nowhere. But it is where it is the most possible flat space. And there I'm coming down. So it's now, it's now it was not, not good, it was too, too far. Now it's somehow flat, but you see, the helicopter is always tilted in a little bit way. So I'm going for safety. I don't want to crash this helicopter. I'm fresh after losing one M1 there over there in this, in this forest. I still have no idea where this little thing can be. And with this one, I don't want to risk such things. Although I have my beacon on it, but uh, uh, I want to be safe. Okay, thank you. That was RC Copter Love. Stay tuned. Please subscribe because this always helps and give us a like if you like this video. Bye.